Oh, it's a lot of stress. Oh, I guarantee. Uh, I I'm telling you, the the playoffs are the most stressful time of the year. Um, but I always say y- you want that, right? I always say it. it it's you as as many times as you feel stress and you feel the pressure, you'd rather have the pressure than not have the pressure, right? If you don't have the pressure, you're out. You have no chance of winning. Um, you you want to keep that pressure on for ten weeks. That's the goal when you start the playoffs. Is how do I keep the pressure on for ten weeks? And uh, you know. Uh, thankfully we've been able to keep the pressure on for 10 weeks and and hopefully have a a championship at the end of it Um, but yeah it's it becomes more and more stressful as the playoffs go right as as you get through the first round you know it's it's usually fairly smooth uh, you know as long as you don't have any mistakes and then each round just gets more and more intense and harder and, and tougher for the crew chiefs tougher for the drivers tougher for the pit crews like it's just you're getting closer to the goal and it gets harder and harder as you go along. All right, Mark, go ahead. Uh, Mark Carroll, PRN. Sort of along those lines, is this going to be a regular week? You have a regular routine. Is this a regular routine week, or is it different leading up to Phoenix? Leading into Phoenix? Um, it, it's it's a little different because I, I got to go out early for media. Um, so we'll be leaving uh, town a little bit earlier to go up there or out there. Um, but outside of that, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a fairly normal week. Monday, I don't think will be much different than our typical Mondays. Um, you know, Tuesday, we'll, we'll do our Wednesday meetings on Tuesday, so I got to leave Wednesday. So we'll, we'll be a little bit quicker on that stuff. And, um, but I mean, all this, all our Phoenix stuff, we've really already gone through a lot of it. <laughs> you know, like we, we've done way more for Phoenix than we have for most any other race already. And we're still another week out. So, um, I feel pretty prepared for the weekend already. For the race itself, is the trick to go, it's just another race, but not know it's just another race? I mean, how do you handle the race that way, pressure-wise or um, I think it depends on the person. It depends on the person, depends on the team, uh, and what kind of people you have on your team, right? If you have people that you need to make them feel comfortable, uh, you know, you, you may uh, minimize the significance of the race. Um, if you have people that, that love pressure and, and love the moment, uh, there's no need to minimize what's going on. Um, you know, the, the, you're there. Uh, it's a great accomplishment to make it to the championship for. It's one heck of a bummer not to win if you went this far and not win, <laughs> right? So it, it's, it is what it is. It's, it's um, like I always, I told the guys, this is just one step closer to the ultimate goal. That's all Vegas was. It was great. Um, it gets us there and gives us a chance, but that's all it was. It is not the goal yet. And so uh, I just said that to keep the pressure on my team, keep them, keep them, uh, you know, looking for more uh, over the next couple of weeks and keep that intensity up because it's going to be on when we get there. So there's no need to get relaxed now. All right. We're going to go to Reed and then Lee. Go ahead. Uh, Reed Spencer with the NASCAR Wire. When you won the championship in, 19, in 2018, you, um, you also won the first race in the, uh, in the round of eight. I mean, and do you feel like you're sort of following that same path at this point, um, you know, doing same things? Obviously, then you had time to work on Phoenix from that point on. Right. I think I think the round of eight race was here, and you were working toward Homestead, but right. does, that, does it feel the same? Um, it, it does. It does, it's, and it's been good. If I look at our, our best chances to win the championship, they've come after the winning the first round in the round of, the first race in the round of eight, um, right? Winning here, 2018, that gave us a great advantage. Uh, we won in Kansas uh, in 2020. That was that was a good help. Um, and, and now, once again, uh, winning in Vegas. I, I think those will give us our best chance. 2020, uh, I don't see anything our team did wrong, right? And that's that's kind of the, um, in a way, extra motivation to, to seek revenge after uh, that last run at Phoenix when the tires started shaking and, and we lost the lead uh, with whatever it was, 40, 50 to go and, and fall back after, you know, cycling, you know, on the green flag pit stop to the lead, everything's going the way it's supposed to, ran the nine down, passed in the whole nine. Uh, and then and then giving it away like that. Uh, that's hurt for uh, quite a few years, or the last couple of years for me. Um, and I can't say I'm over it. So uh, this is uh, the moment of revenge on that. Don't you want revenge for 2015 too? Because I mean, <laughs> to me that to me that was your. I don't most, think he's out there anymore. <laughs> I, well, I just mean you personally because to me that's like the first one that got away from you. That yeah. your team that year was just absolutely spectacular. Absolutely, I, I mean that was. 
I mean, everyone can look back and say ifs and buts, right? And 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 how many championships you could have won. All right, I can look back and say we should have four of them right now. But you know, I, I look at you know, 2015. That was our strongest year as a team, um, with a ton of wins and coming off three in a row with a chance to, you know, go to the championship four, leading the race at Martinsville and get wrecked. Like there, that was a great chance for us to win a championship that year. We missed it, um, right? If I look at you know even the first one in, in 2014, um, and, you know, with, with the, the Jack on, on a pit stop, right? Or, or, or racing Carl, uh, you're trying to pass for the lead on, on a late race restart. Hey, and you can look at all these and you can stack them up and go, man, I should have four championships by now, <laughs> right? Like, but it, you don't, right? And it, it is what it is. So you just gotta keep, you know, looking out the windshield. And, and like I said, all these things, they, they stack up and you'll find more ways to lose them than, than win them. And uh, you know, the facts are you have a one in four chance uh, to win it when you get there. And we've won one out of four <laughs> so far. This will be our fifth time at it. So I'd say we're ready to get another one. Don't you feel like you're older and wiser now though? I mean, that with all the experience that you have been into, I mean, when you lose, at least you're learning from that experience. 100%, I mean, I, that, I always tell the guys this too. I said, listen, when you get to these moments, uh, in the playoffs at any point, it's not win or lose, it's, it's win or learn. Um, and, and I think those are the, the biggest things that, that we can take as a team is that, you know, all, after all those losses in the playoffs in the championship four uh, or being that close to it, there's been a lesson in each one of those. And as long as you can take the emotion out and eventually find the, the key learnings to it, is that really a loss? Right, like, and that's kind of how I've looked at it over the years, and it's helped me become a stronger person um, on and off the racetrack, a stronger driver, obviously, and um, I have no regrets. I have, it's a bummer still, right? You can't, sometimes you just don't get over it, but you've be, I've become a strong, stronger person because of it and a stronger leader uh, for my race team after going through it so many times. Um, we can't, you know, there's not many other drivers uh, that are in the round of eight right now that have been to the championship four that many times, right, Denny? Um, Chase, you know, been there a couple of times, right? But the, that's kind of it. So uh, that experience is definitely has a lot of value.